Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Tuesday, the 25th. Oh my god. Seven months until Christmas. Yay! <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, today I'm going to clean off my craft cart. Its usual home is in my living room by the couch where I sit. Jace is making lots of noises. <laughs> and it's also my catch all for all things Ella. <laughs> There may not, there may be more on here than um, crochet stuff. I don't know. But I'm going to show you the cart and then we're going to go through it by tiers. It's a three tier one. <laughs> so here it is. That's Jesse's toys in the background here. Let me turn you around so you see yarn. <laughs> so there's the top tier and the middle tier. And down there is the bottom tier. And then I also have these little drawers, cubbies. Someone just walked by the window. I'm trying to move you like too quickly so you don't get seasick. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, I use the top as my project bag holder. And to be honest, these two project bags set in the floor are usually on top of that. <laughs> it's like a big tower. It's up against the wall, and that's just where I put my project bags. These are just in here from where I showed them to you guys in the video on Monday, I think. All right, so let's just start with the top, shall we? Let's see if I can get you a better setup. So this is a project bag design that I was going to start making. It's a Japanese knot bag, but with handles instead of fabric handles. But it's really complicated to make, so that's why I scrapped this idea. Because it, the time it takes to make one of these is like the same amount of time to make two or three of the other bags that I make. So that's why I scrapped this idea. But I have one. <laughs> So let's see what's in here. Okay, these are the scrap balls and the yarn for my poncho top. The pattern down in there. The leftover yarn balls from where I took that one cake apart. Ball band. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this because I still haven't finished that top. I need to um, finish, figure out what I'm going to do with it <laughs> and do that. So this is the yarn for that. But I will probably keep that in this room now um, because it's not like a super ongoing project. It's just like one I just need to finish up. <laughs> So I'll probably keep that in this room in here. All right, next, I think this one's uh, from an old project. Okay, Pokemon. And this is just scrap uh, balls from when I made the Peppa Pig lovey. So I need to put these back in my scrap ball container, which is in my living room. So I'm gonna put those over there. And then there's an empty project bag that I will put on my project bag stack over there. <laughs> All right, this is another empty project bag. This is my little bug one. I love this bag. I use this for little things. Obviously, because it's little. And I actually do like this bag a whole lot. I use it often. So I'm going to put that on my... Oops, I missed, but that's okay. Alright, next is some hooks. <laughs> I usually keep my hooks on the second tier. So that's just up there from where I got lazy. What else is up there? Headphones. <laughs> I use those a lot. I keep them on my cart because I do use them with my phone a lot. When I, Like if Jesse's watching TV and I want to watch videos, <laughs> I'll watch them on my phone and uh, use my headphones. Those will go in one of these little cubbies here in just a minute. Okay, Jesse was looking for me. So next up here is a ball of yarn. <laughs> I don't remember why I pulled this out. I got more of it back there. Devin got me this yarn for my birthday or Mother's Day. I can't remember which. <laughs> but uh, I pulled it out to use it and then I didn't use it yet. So I'm going to put it back where it goes. Well, it doesn't actually go there. It just it fits there. <laughs> All right, next is my strawberry hat, which I love. My strawberry beret. I can't put it on right now because I got a ponytail. But I love this hat. <laughs> it's only because I like to wear it over now then. <laughs> but I'll probably put that in here somewhere. I'll just sit up there for now. All right, next up there is one of my yarn bowls <laughs> that I use with my scrap balls. So I usually keep this in my scrap ball container until I need it. And then I just grab it out with the scrap balls. So I'm going to put it down here with these other scrap balls. Alright, next is this project I was working on. Oops, it's still got a hook in it. <laughs> it's like a mesh thing. I had no idea what I was doing with it. But I don't like the way that colors are pulling. Like the bright colors are on the side and the dingier ones are on this side. So I'm going to frog this. But I'm going to wait and do it for a video. I'm going to do a frogging chat when I get a chance to. So I'm just going to put it aside. And that will be in a frogging chat eventually. <laughs> Alright, what else is up here? This is the pattern more than likely. Yep, it's the little bees. <laughs> I keep this one because I use this a lot. There's my switch case that I misplaced. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this back on here but uh, after I clean it off. <laughs> so here's my switch case that I made. 
that I mentioned the other day in a video that I lost it and I found it. It was buried underneath all my stuff. So now I can get my switch and put it back in there. So that'll go back in the living room. Alright, this is my scrap blanket project. That's like an ongoing project. That's what I got of it so far. <laughs> and um, it's just an ongoing project. So I, I do leave, leave it on there. I'm using two strands of worsted weight at a time. That's what's still attached to it. <laughs> and uh, I was working on this a lot, but then I started using my scrap balls for other projects. So I don't know if I will be working on this anytime soon. So I may actually leave it in here and then I can come and get it when I want to work on it. So I think I'm just going to wrap that up and put it down here with the frog. <laughs> but I'm not going to frog that. All right, next is a pattern book. <laughs> this was gifted to me and it's stuck up there. I was probably looking at it and um, just stuck it on there. So I need to put this back where my books go. So that needs to go with the scrap balls. And then a notebook. <laughs> I have a Golden Girls notebook. I like to keep notebooks. Looks like there were some patterns in there somewhere. I like to keep notebooks um, on hand for if I want to write down something real quick. So that pretty much empties that out. So here, I have a bracelet <laughs> and my hook. That hook is the one that I was using for that project that I'm frogging. And it's also the same size that I'm using for my scrap blanket. But that completely clears out this top shelf other than some hair because I lose hair everywhere. So back in the top that's empty, I'm going to put my notebook back in there. And I'm going to put my <clears throat> switch case because uh, I'll put my switch back in there. <laughs> and I think that's everything that goes in the top tier. I think so. So now I'm going to lower you a little bit and do the second counter. Alright, <laughs> we're down to the second tier now. And it's a mess also. <laughs> so right here is a phone charger. <laughs> I use this to get videos off my phone onto my laptop, so I, I need to keep this near the um, my cart. And then here's a regular set of headphones. These first headphones are for my phone. They have the uh, iPhone connector thingy. <laughs> and this is a regular set I use for my laptop. So I keep all those cords on here. <laughs> And then there are scrap balls. That one's stuck on something. <laughs> these are from where I made bees recently. So these can go back into my scrap container, which is also in the living room. So I'm going to put them over here in this bowl <laughs> with these other ones. I'm going to rewind this one a little bit. Okay. Stay. All right. More hooks. I do keep my hooks on the second tier. So. And then more hooks. <laughs> This right here is a language master. <laughs> I I use it to help me spell. <laughs> if I'm using my phone, because I use my phone a lot to watch videos and do stuff with. So I can't just stop what I'm doing and spell check. <laughs> so I have this little guy who is a spell checker. <laughs> it's, uh, it's outdated. It's from 93. So there's a lot of words that... Um, is it 93? Yeah. 93. <laughs> uh... A lot of words nowadays, modern words, aren't on here, but all the ones I usually need are on here. So, I like using this. <laughs> okay, this is the second ball of yarn for that project that I'm frogging. So, when I frog it, I'll put these two together and stick them somewhere, and I'll use it for something else. This is another project I'm going to frog. Hook. This was going to be a cocoon-like wrap thing. But I just, there's a piece of popcorn stuck to it. <laughs> um, I wasn't liking the way it was coming out. And it was huge. So I'm just going to frog it. I was making it with some red heart yarn. And uh, that's going to be in a frogging chat also. Probably the same one as the other one. So we'll put it over there in the frog pile. <laughs> Alright, another scrap ball. Goes in the scrap ball container. And then I have a computer mouse. I use this for my laptop. And there's a price sticker. That was from one of those... Um, little toys that I made, um, what are they called? Loveys with. <laughs> My stomach's making all kinds of noises, I'm sorry. And then this is some stitch markers that I was gifted. And I like using them as, uh, place keepers. Um, I really need to, like, vacuum out these. <laughs> you can see all kinds of crumbs. <laughs> but that's okay. Okay, so now the second tier is empty. So what I like to keep in the second tier is all my hooks. And actually, I got a couple hooks here that need to be put up. Here. This one, this zippy thing, I keep all my handled hooks like this in. <laughs> my clever and more is in there. 
This one's like all my Susan Bait hooks, which are my favorite. And then these are Susan Bates with the soft grips, which I also love. These ones. <clears throat> Alright, and my stitch markers I keep in there. I use those for progress keepers, you know, like. And when I'm counting rows and stuff, I use them. Yeah. Also, let's see here. Anything else go that second tier? I don't think so. Alright, bottom tier. <laughs> I can't take you all the way down there, but I will. Maybe I can tilt it. There you go. You can see it down there. It's messy. And then I have these cups. I guess we can do these cups real fast. Let's see what's all in here. Alright. So I got chapsticks. Which I gotta keep on hand because I have always have to use chapstick. <laughs> I have a stitch marker. Which I'm going to put that back on my stitch marker thing. I have a clip. Which I'm going to put on one of these scrap balls. That's what I use these clips for. I get them at Dollar Tree. And I use them for my scrap balls. And then I also had some pins and a hook. <laughs> Oops. So the pins I'm going to put back in there because it's always good to have pins on hand. And the hook I'm going to put back in the hook case that it came from. So there's that. All right. This next one. Whoops. There's spilt needles everywhere. All right. Got all kinds of stuff in there. I dropped needles everywhere. <laughs> Okay, hook, another soft grip one, goes in this one, and then I have my, neat, one of my needle tubes, <laughs> I don't know what those are called, <laughs> like a little vial, and I guess all these needles came out of it at one point, and I was too lazy to put them back in there, <laughs> so I'll do it now, so I do keep those, I usually keep that in this one, it just somehow got put in there, I have a highlighter, I don't know why I have a highlighter, because I never use them. This is my tape measure that came in a knit crate. <laughs> I do keep it in here because I use it every now and then. Right, and also a wrapper came out of there. <laughs> Alright, this last little cup is my big handled hooks that was gifted to me. That's all that's in there. I do use these a lot and I keep them in there because it's just easier for me to just grab them out of there. So that's all that's in there. I can see there. Alright, now the bottom tier. So I have another Japanese knot bag. This is the original kind. I made this a while ago. I was going to start making these two, but they're hard to make quickly. So that's why I haven't made any. <laughs> I don't know what's in here. Uh, okay. There's some scrap balls of yarn. My sheer thingies, which I didn't even realize was missing. And another hook. <laughs> I can't remember what I made with those three yarns. Maybe a bee or something. I can't remember. But there's those. So those will go into my scrap thing. And this is another empty project bag. Make sure there's not stuff in there. There was. <laughs> Pumpkin. Put this with my other project bags and I'll put them stitch markers on my stitch marker thing. Alright. This has got my safety eye backs and my stuff to make stitch markers with. It's a Dollar Tree container. And then all of these are safety eyes. Different sizes. <laughs> And then I have a notebook. Another notebook. Right. I can't even hold it. <laughs> I'll put that in the top. It'll fit itself a bit. <laughs> and then the last thing is these. These I'm going to be using for Amigurumi necks. They're Dollar Tree hair curlers. They got like little tiny pool noodles. <laughs> and on the inside they're metal and like pliable. So they'd be good for doll necks or arms or legs. Anything you want to kind of bend. Tails. I haven't tried them yet, but I've seen other people doing it, so I wanted to get some and try them. So that's what I got those for. I'm going to leave them in the bottom with my safety eyes. That way, all my amigurumi things are down there together. So, alright. Now I just need to put my headphones up. These ones are tangled. These ones are wrapped in embroidery floss. My sister did it for me. I just kind of roll them up. <laughs> You just stuff them all down in um, that one cubby right there. My phone charger, I don't like to bend it too much, so I'll just lay it in there. My mouse, I'll put it, I usually put it in there. Alright, so that's a lot of stuff that I took out. I'm going to put my bee pattern back in here, because I do make those bees quite often. They're a lot of fun to make. <laughs> and I usually have it memorized, but sometimes if I go a few weeks without making one, I need to refresh her. But that's everything. So now i got all these um, scrap balls i got to put up. <laughs> there's quite a few of them. I got a book I got to put away. 
and then I'll have some projects to frog, but I will film another video in that. So that was me cleaning out my craft cart. Look at it, it looks so nice now. <laughs> it's not piled high. I don't have anything hanging from my little hooky things. Usually I keep a stitch marker hanging on there. I'll put it like that, just so it's easy to grab. Maybe I'll put those two on there. I got my pumpkin and this one's a little um, shamrock, like that. So yeah, so thanks for coming along and watching me clean out my craft cart. <laughs> if you have a craft cart, I suggest you clean it every now and then because they get kind of loaded down. Mine does. <laughs> it's a catch-all for all my stuff. And I'm sure in a week or two it'll be piled high again and I'll be uh, having to clean it off again. But I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.